New developments on a story we've been tracking for months. Rhode Island's Attorney General has filed a civil lawsuit against the owner of a North Providence gym that closed its doors without warning. We first told you about the suit at noon. Since then, Eyewitness News reporter Susan Hogan caught up with the Attorney General. She joins us now with the latest developments. Well, the complaints started pouring in after the gym shut down in April and members were told their membership would be honored at the Gold's Gym location in Warwick. But then a month later, owner David Walker sold the Warwick Gold's Gym and the new owner was under no obligation to honor their contracts and opted not to, leaving the customers with worthless, worthless gym contracts. Now, Attorney General Peter Kilmartin has filed a lawsuit accusing Walker and his company, Gable Fitness, of violating Rhode Island's Deceptive Trade Practices Act. Act and Health Club Act. The bottom line is you can't stick it to the consumer and think you're going to get away with it because it's against Rhode Island statute and if necessary we will go to Superior Court to make the consumer whole. Now the Attorney General's office has already received more than 140 written complaints against Gold's Jim and Walker. The owner has 20 days to respond to the lawsuit. I'm Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.